So repairing this TI-84, we're going to go ahead and open it up. We already got the screws out, so we're just going to go ahead and open it up. I took the battery out, took that screw, took this plate off, the plate that was right there, it was right here with the battery, took the plate off, then popped the battery out, took all the screws out, and I just used this little screwdriver that came with one of my iPhone repair kits. So just going to open it up and see what's going on with the board. I uh, probably should open it up this way. You know what? This is the correct way. Because this tape is really, really trash. And as you can see, the board just needs to be cleaned up. It's very dirty. And the reason why this does not turn on, very simple fix. You see this copper plate right here. You see right here. There, I'm trying to get it focused, but there's a spot where it wore down to the board. There's no copper right there. So all I have to do is basically bridge that and it should work. I'm not sure if you can do that with solder or you can just like tape something over like tape some some copper over there or whatever but i'm gonna find a way to bridge that and then i think i think solder's the way to go actually and then we'll be good to go but first of all we're just going to clean this up Side here you can see where it's the worn down spot on the board and what I did was I bent that little piece of metal so it would contact in a different spot so it's making contact there now and not right there it's making contact there now so it should work it should work what about this one yeah that one's making good contact so I'm gonna put batteries in here and it should work I have to put that battery back in too. So even I don't know what's gonna happen. You can see this is my parts one. So hopefully I fixed it. I can take that sticker off and it won't be parts anymore. Let's see if it comes on. And there you have it. And there you have it. It was just that simple. Second plus uh, seven. Is that right on? No. All right, it works. And that's how you repair the TI-83 Plus.